Hi, I'm Courtney Herring, and I'm a therapist here at Worcester Youth and Family Counseling Services. Today I will be talking a little bit more about anger warning signs, and I'm going to use an analogy of a stoplight. So especially with conflict, we want to talk about what's appropriate during conflict, kind of our green zone, and maybe some warning signs that we're getting a little bit escalated and our anger is coming out. So we'll start with our green zone. So this is the kind of ideal place that we would like to be. It means that we're going to be handling a conflict appropriately. We're going to be listening to another person. So in the green zone, we're using our I statements. I feel embarrassed that this happened. I feel angry because when we're using I statements, it's a little less intimidating to the other person and it encourages healthy communication. So we're acknowledging underlying emotions. In a previous video I did, we talked about the anger iceberg. That anger is what we see, but there might be some other emotions underneath, um, such as fear, embarrassment, things like that. So acknowledging those underlying emotions can be really helpful in conflict. And then we're keeping our body calm and we're breathing at a steady, our normal pace. Um, we're actively listening. And what this means is that we are actually receiving the information that the other person is saying versus trying to think about our response, which is a pretty common thing to do, especially in arguments. We want to make sure that our point is across. But actually in an argument, we want to be able to listen to the other person I hear you're saying this, is that what you mean? This is what I heard. Is this how you intended it to be um, across to me? And then our tone is assertive, but we're keeping it at a neutral level. We're talking like we normally would, even in a conflict. We're being assertive of setting boundaries, saying how we feel, making sure that things stay okay. So when we're going into the yellow zone, these are maybe our warning signs that we need to take a second. And they're different for everybody. I just gave some common um, factors for what people usually experience. So people might start sweating. They might notice their hands are feeling a little clammy. You might notice that your heart rate is increasing. We might feel that. We might have issues with our breathing and might be a little staggered. We're interrupting somebody else. So this is a sign that we're maybe getting a little bit, you know, escalated because we don't feel like our needs are being met and we're interrupting somebody because we want to make our point. So our active listening is not there. Uh, we might be feeling hot. Again, this could be adrenaline kicking in. Our tone is raising. We might not be fully yelling, but we might get a little bit louder um, and a little bit more aggressive. Or for some people, it's just completely shutting down because we're getting escalated. So during our yellow zone, we definitely want to go back to green. And things that we can do are doing some deep breaths is really, really helpful to control some of the heart rate, the sweating, the feeling hot, those physiological symptoms. And as far as interrupting others, maybe our tone, maybe for a second, just taking a second to listen to the other person. It's taking a second of realizing, okay, like this is starting to not be really helpful in this conflict. So I'm going to just take a second. I'm going to relax. So we're going to try to go back to the green zone. So the red zone, we are kind of fully escalated. Anger is very much present. Um, we might start throwing things. We might start punching or any act of aggression, maybe not towards somebody else, but maybe in general of punching objects. Um, we're yelling. Some people define as like blacking out. So they have no awareness of what's happening. They just kind of are saying things or doing things with little to no insight. So only speaking your side and there's absolutely no listening in this one. So yellow zone, there might be a little bit lack, but in this it's solely speaking your side and not listening. And then personal attacks come in. So we're no longer arguing or having a conversation about what happened, we're now attacking another person's you know, belief systems, what they're doing. And so this is not productive at all. There's never going to be a resolution when we're in this red area. So what we want to do is to buy ourselves some time to calm down, 
So what can be really, really helpful in this, maybe even to get back to yellow, maybe eventually get back to green, but for right now we just want to keep everybody safe in this situation. So it can be walking away of saying, right now this isn't helpful, I'm out of control, I'm going to just walk away. And if we can verbalize that, being able to remove yourself from the situation um, in this area, particularly for like the punching aggression, sometimes like really vigorous exercise can be helpful. Doing jumping jacks, running around, things like that to kind of get some of that out in a healthy way without attacking somebody else. So in our red zone, we want to just eliminate the conflict right now and eventually come back to it which is our most important piece. If we walk away from an argument, we want to come back when we're calm to readdress it. Because what happens is if we don't, it just kind of gets stuffed down and we're more likely to reach the red area more quickly with people. So again, it's really important if anger is a problem for you or if we tend to have a lot of conflict with other people, arguments don't go their way, it's really starting to self-evaluate of what are some of my warning signs that this conversation is not going well and being able to introduce coping skills to bring us back down. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope it really helps you encourage healthy relationships and just in general feeling more in control of ourselves. Thank you.